Okay, so you're looking for love right in the city of angels, and you think, hey, I'll try LADate.com. So pretty straightforward, right? Yeah, straightforward enough, but um, hold on a sec, because today we are going to take a deep dive into this online dating platform. Oh, yeah? And what we found from user reviews on Reddit might make you want to think twice before you swipe right. So where do we even begin? Well, right off the bat, one of the biggest complaints we saw is this system of credits. Yeah. And how it, like, restricts how you can actually communicate on the platform. Mm -hmm. Like, imagine you're finally hitting it off of someone. The conversation's going great, right? Yeah. And then, bam, you need to buy more credits to keep chatting. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, yeah. Ugh, it's like going to a dinner and the restaurant asking for your credit card after every bite. Yeah. Not exactly romantic. Not conducive to a love connection. Not at all. And it's not even just a minor inconvenience either. This kind of system, it could be actually, like really manipulative okay it really plays on that you know fear of missing out like what if this is the one what if i let them slip away because i didn't want to cough up a few more bucks oh gosh so it's like they're holding your potential love life hostage exactly pay up or say goodbye not cool not cool la date not cool what else is going on here well What's even more concerning is that this whole credit system seems to go hand in hand with this other really kind of shady practice. Right. Discouraging users from exchanging, you know, contact info off the platform. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like outside of L.A. date. Well, like what? Phone numbers, social media. Exactly. We saw tons of complaints about this. Oh. Especially from male users who said that women um, on the site were like really hesitant to share their numbers or social media, even after they'd been chatting for a while. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's suspicious. It's almost like they're keeping people trapped in their little ecosystem, yeah. spending more and more money, even if it's clear they're not making any real connections. Yeah. At this point, as you can see, things are not looking good for LA Date. Before we continue, if you want to find a genuine app to meet women, check out hotmilfdates.com or just use the links in the description below. You'll get our recommendations for the top hookup apps out there. And it starts to feel, you know. Predatory. A little bit. Definitely a little predatory. Okay, so red flag number one, credits. Red flag number two, no outside contact info. What else did we find? Oh, tons more. This whole feeling of being manipulated, it just gets like amplified when you consider all the complaints about fake profiles. Oh, fake profiles. Oh, yeah. Classic. Yeah, classic. What are people saying about that? So lots of users describe getting just tons of likes the second they create their profile. Which might seem flattering at first, but then it's like, come on. You realize pretty quickly that it's probably just a tactic to like boost your ego, keep you engaged. Right. Like you get the initial dopamine rush of all those notifications, but then you're like, wait a minute. It's all smoke and mirrors. Smoke and mirrors. And speaking of smoke and mirrors, there were also some really specific complaints about profiles that seemed too good to be true. Yes. Particularly people claiming to be from Colombia. Oh, yes. That was a big one. One user actually pointed out that it's statistically improbable. What do you mean? Well, for so many profiles from a country where English isn't the first language, you know, to have, mm. like perfect fluent English. Oh, I see what you're saying. It just raises the possibility that these aren't real people, like at all, mm -hmm. but more like, you know, fabricated profiles. Oh, so they might be totally made up. Made up, <laughs> potentially even AI generated, uh. designed to, you know, lure users in. Okay, so not only are you potentially paying to chat with someone, you might be paying to chat with a bot. But before we get too lost in the world of bots and fake profiles, mm -hmm. let's take a step back. Look at some, like, more tangible evidence. Oh, okay. The age of the LADate.com domain. Ah, yes. A little digital detective work. A little digital detective work. So one user actually um, used a domain checking tool. Okay. And found that LADate.com was registered in 2019. 2019. Hmm. Now, that doesn't automatically mean it's a scam. Right. But it does mean it's, you know, pretty new. Pretty new platform. Which could explain maybe why it might not have the same level of, like, credibility or user base as some of the, you know, the older dating sites. Right. It's like comparing a brand new restaurant yeah. to one that's been around for decades. Exactly. You'd probably be more likely to trust the one that's been around forever. Yeah. Exactly. And just like you'd read reviews before you go to a new restaurant, you know, it's super important to do your research before you dive head first into any new date, dating platform, especially one that has like as many question marks as L.A. date. Especially one as questionable as this. So what you're saying is approach with caution. Yeah. A healthy dose of skepticism. Because at this point, 
I'm feeling less love connection and more like detective investigation. A little bit of both. So guys, if you're looking for legit hookup dating apps, we recommend you go to hotmilfdates.com or check the links in the description below the video. See you in the next podcast.